And Army hockey coach Brian Riley. Uh, coach, you had a 3-0 uh, shutout on Friday night and today a uh, 3-1 loss to Holy Cross. Uh, tell, tell us, Tris, what went right generating the shutout last night on Friday? Well, I, I, I thought uh, last night was probably our most complete game from start to finish. Um, we managed the game really well. We played for 60 whole minutes. Uh, and as a result, we got rewarded with, uh, with a good win. And we knew today was going to be a challenge. Uh, like Holy Cross, a good team, they're well coached, they work extremely hard. And I felt really good about our game uh, in the first period. It, it was one to one. I thought for nine minutes of the second at the start, they kind of had us on our heels, and, and, and that turned out to be the difference of the game. They, they wound up scoring two goals in, in that nine minutes. And, and then I thought after that, we kind of got back to our game. Uh, this Thomas Gale for them, I, I mean, he's, he's one of the best goalies in the league, and he's not going to give you any easy goals. So. Uh, it's hard to beat somebody when you score just one goal. And uh, your goaltender, Evan Zeri, uh, shut out last night. Uh, today had to make a lot of saves, a lot of saves in the third period to keep, keep, give your team a chance. Yeah, you, you know what? Um, last night was a special night for him when uh, he gets a shutout. Uh, we wanted to, in the third period, um, get at least 15 shots. We did. Uh, I think the shots, the save wound up being 15 to nine there. Um, and you know, you know what? I, I thought Ev played fine. Um, like I said, it, it's it's hard to win a game scoring just one goal. So uh, credit to Holy Cross. Um, I thought, uh, and I knew that they would be that that uh, they were really good today. And and the one goal, Michael Sacco on a shot from uh, from the left point. Uh, uh, late in the first period. Uh, tell us about that one. Yeah, you, you know what? Um, that was a nice play. Uh, I think Max kind of found him uh, back door, which, you know, getting pucks across the slot line was, was kind of how we beat Gail and three of four of our goals. You know, it, it's hard to beat him clean so uh, that that was another goal where we were able to kind of get the puck across the slot line and, and get a quick shot to, to find uh, to find the net a couple of, of interesting uh, officiating moments that you started the game with Holy Cross getting a bench minor and then there was a long challenge in the second period and then uh, one of the Holy Cross players got a game misconduct in a third, which, uh, yeah. well, anything, what was, what was your thought on some of those? Points? Well, the, the, the first penalty is what they call a protocol violation. You have to get off the ice by a certain time. Honestly, I hate that rule. I, I think it's, you're going to impact the game with something that really has nothing to do with the game. Uh, so even though the penalty was on them, I hate that call. Um, and then they wanted to review what Holy Cross challenged for a sloop foot, and, and I think they were, they had the wrong time, so they were looking and looking, but they couldn't see it, and they found out it was like 10 seconds before that. Uh, way too long um, of a review. Uh, and then, yeah, their, their guy must have been upset, and uh, he must have said something to the ref, so. Uh, you know, I, I think we've done a pretty good job uh, discipline-wise this year. Um, I think we had six minutes in, in penalties. That, that's kind of been where we're at. And uh, if you want to win hockey games, you you, you got to limit teams' opportunities on the power play. And uh, we've been doing, doing a good job with that. This week's a big one for you. You have Sacred Heart here on Tuesday. We saw last week. And then your big series with the Air Force. Uh, tell us about your prep. Yeah, you know, the, the prep is just trying to recover. And, and gosh, like I, I, I put our guys in a terrible, terrible spot with um, the schedule here, with all these games in a, in a short period of time. I, I know our guys love to play games, but it just, we had to move some games around. And, and, and now when I look at it, the amount of games in the short period of time is is really really hard but um 
you know, we'll try to recover today and tomorrow, and then we'll have one day to get back on the ice for Sacred Heart, which top team in our league, and then um, Air Force playing really, really well, you know, so, but that series in itself, you can throw records uh, out the window. I mean, it'll be a great atmosphere in here. I, I know Saturday's game is sold out. I'm sure Friday's is probably really close to being sold out. So uh, these are the games that our guys will certainly remember. Well, Fry, good to talk with you, and uh, thanks uh, for uh, your time today. All right, Ken. It's always good to see you. Pleasure. It's Ken Kreitzer for Cam Vets Media at West Point.